as India prepares to host the G20 Leaders Summit on September 9th and 10th, it's important to look at the major issues that grabbed the headlines during last year's summit in Bali, Indonesia. The world was recovering from the COVID pandemic and its imprint was visible all over the host country. The Russia-Ukraine war took centre stage at the event, which saw the presidency baton being passed to India. Well, the official theme um, of the summit, and this was there on all the, all the buses and, uh, and the billboards, was, um, was recovered together, recovered stronger. The reference was, of course, to the, to the COVID pandemic and its uh, economic and uh, other impact uh, on, on, the, on the world. But um, what actually happened was the dominant issue, I, I, as I recall it, was actually the Russia-Ukraine war. And uh, this is how, in fact, every, uh, or at least the major leader began with this reference, even the uh, even the Indonesian president, the host, began with that. And the war was just nine months old. It had just started. And then there was a lot of anticipation uh, because countries like India, you know, had adopted a cautious approach. Uh, the Western bloc, you know, had the gloves off literally and they were, you know, uh, basically looking for a, for a fight. Tensions were high between the Western Bloc and the Russian representative over the Russia-Ukraine war. Well, Russian President Vladimir Putin made things a bit easier. Uh, he didn't come, he didn't attend the, attend the summit. Uh, like this time what's going to happen, he sent his uh, foreign minister. So, so it, I, sort of a direct confrontation was avoided. It was being said that all the Western leaders didn't want to be seen in the same photo frame also in which... Uh, uh, which Putin, uh, Putin is there. And uh, the foreign minister also left a day before the, before the summit ended and before that uh, you know, declaration was adopted. Uh, so, so I guess that, that helped in, in some way really. And uh, perhaps he left and of course we don't know the exact reason was because the Ukrainian leader, uh, Zelensky, and Ukraine is not a member of the of the G20 uh, uh, of the G20, and he got a chance to speak through through video conference. For India, the main highlight of the summit was the meeting between Chinese President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So from India's point of view, uh, the most exciting thing was that uh, the handshake between uh, China's President uh, Xi Jinping and uh, and Narendra Modi. And that happened uh, at a at a welcome at a welcome dinner. It was a casual setting. All the leaders were uh, uh, were were being welcomed really through a uh, through a dinner hosted by the by the Indonesian president. It was a relaxed setting. It was in one of the cultural parks. There were there was song and dance. And then when the uh, when the meeting was over, and this we could see on the on on the, on the visuals that were being relayed. Uh, the uh, the Chinese president was passing by, and uh, uh, Narendra Modi, and he shook hands basically, and then they then they then they talked for a we could see them talk for a few seconds. Of course, the interaction now we know probably went on for a bit uh, longer. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had also attended a diaspora event and interacted with the people on the sidelines of the G20 summit. So, as always, Modi had a diaspora event when he was in Bali. I mean, he took time off from the, uh, from the discussions at the, at the summit and he went to a few kilometers away, a hotel, hotel ballroom, that was a venue, and where people of Indian origin had, had gathered to welcome, welcome him. And uh, he talked to them about, uh, about, about, the, about the links uh, between Indonesia and, uh, and India. And as it happened, a festival called Bali Jatra was going on in, in uh, Odisha at, at, at that time. And he, and he specifically mentioned that. He also put in a bit about, uh, uh, about how India, according to him, has changed since 20, 2014. And uh, what he stressed was that the pace and scale of things has changed between 20, uh, since 2014 when his government took, took place and everything is bigger now and everything is done, uh, done faster now. 
India is hosting this year's summit in Delhi in its capacity as the current president of the grouping. The summit is likely to be attended by more than 30 heads of states and top officials from the European Union, invited guest countries and 14 heads of international organizations.